Yo, what's good, Dragon Ball community? It's the boy, Broken. Another Dragon Ball Super Card Game video. And um, it's about to be two o'clock in the morning. Yes, um, I took a nap uh, right after work uh, and uh, should have done that. So I am just have so much energy right now and I was like, might as well you know, produce some content for you guys. So obviously, you know, let's just get into it. Today's Wednesday. Well, about to be well yeah actually today is wednesday and you know market watch time you know what i'm saying but uh like before um pre-orders uh, is up for uh supreme rivalry boxes are going for um 130 but as you can see uh you know uh srs and the sprs are for pre-sale right now um i'm surprised there's only two of the SERs are up for um pre-sale but we're missing the Sension Ron, I believe. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, boxes for 130. That's kind of why is this random Digimon card here? What in the world? <laughs> why is this Imperial Digimon? But anyway, uh, yeah, uh, Supreme Rivalry pre sales are up, but let's get into it. Um, talked about Vegito before, uh, Unison of Might. I talked about the SPR uh, version. Uh, but let's go over the SRs. The SR version is about eight bucks right now. I think this card is really good for a uh, King Vegeta deck set, or just in just red decks in general, just because it really counters uh, blue Vegeta. Uh, not blue Vegeta. Uh, well, blue baby Vegeta also. So this card is really good because it's minus effect. Um, anything they counter, um, attempt to counter, it goes to the drop area and it's not, and then not actually being played also. So that's really, really good against baby Vegeta. Uh, fly out the grand Eagles, the lightly plays for 15 bucks right now. Um, uh, well one's, uh, 15 bucks, but other than that, the card is about a 15 to $18 card. Um, before I believe that this car was hitting. I think this card was hitting at least 25 bucks, 25 to 30 because of the victory strike. But since the ban list hit, uh, this card has gone right back down. And um, yeah, man, uh, technically you're still able to do all that uh, victory strike stuff, but it's not very consistent. But fly the Grand Eagles. I still think this card is really, really good in red decks because uh, you never, you never, you never know. You know what I'm saying? You just never know. Um, Food the Dark Banisher, shout out to Miguel for letting me know about this card. Uh, it's about a $3 card for um, for what it is. It's a $3 um, Overrealm card, but the Parallel Foils, um, near mints are $20. $20 for this card. Um, if you don't know what it does, it's an Overrealm 8, but you have to tap 4 energy for it. And uh, it's permanent. Your opponent can't activate skills unless they choose one card from their hand and send it to their warp. So this card is really good against Dark Broly. And uh, if they attempt to combo with a uh, Dark Broly card with, um, since it's zero, zero combo cost, but they use their leader effect to give it 5k combo, you know, they will have to um, pitch a card for um, the, to even, even to attempt to, uh, uh, use this effect so that's even even if they even negate a attack or whatever um they will have to uh pitch warp, warp a card from their hand a really really good card and um shout out to uh one of the hermit style uh people uh they let me know about this card right now it's a 70 dollar secret rare uh beyond darkness demigra it came out in colossal warfare so that's set three um no set four set four set four um and uh, yes, yeah, so over on seven, but calls for five energy. It has triple strike. And when this card attacks, your opponent reveals their hand. Uh, you choose up to four battle cards and you get the combo with those cards. So basically you play this card for five. You, um, it has uh, dark over realm also. So this card stays on board. You swing with this card, look at your opponent's hand, choose up to four battle cards from your opponent's hand and combo with those cards. And this card has triple strike also. But um, yeah, 70 to $75 for this card. I would say this is a good, uh, great price for this card just cause how old the card is. I know it's not really seeing that much play right now, but for what it is, um, it's an old SCR and 70 bucks, not too bad for this card. So 
pick them up if you don't have it. Um, I might have to pick pick one up for myself. Um, hit wrapper movements are about eight bucks. Uh, the car was going for about yeah thirteen or fourteen dollars. Um, as as a, as so was is a Raditz, but the blue yellow hype was has kind of gone down because uh, 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 blue yellow Gohan decks were actually playing. I don't know if they were playing this card, but you're able to. It's just a blue yellow card to pitch with your Bojack. So. And it's easy, easy to arrive for your Bojack also. So this card was, uh, it's actually like, well, mm, half price right now. Uh, it's going for eight to nine bucks compared to its, uh, I won't say half price. This is going 14 bucks. Uh, Focus Breakthrough SPRs um, lightly plays about 12 or well, 13 bucks. Um, Actually, the near mints are also 13 bucks. Also, uh, I'm just going over this card because you know green's not seeing that much play right now, but the card is really, really good. Um, whenever green gets um, gets good again, this card will shoot back up in price uh, compared to its counterparts. Like, uh, yeah, absolute release ball uh, going for 18 bucks. Uh, Compared compared to uh, eighteen to twelve, um, blue blues. I don't I don't think they will play this card right now because all it does is just bounce the card. But uh, focus breakthrough actually counters the card, so that was, that's really really good. Um, Heroic strikes. I came across this card while looking through other cards. It came out of uh, malicious machinations, and um, what it does is it's a I think it's a black card. Yeah, I think it's a black card. It's a black card because you can't really tell because look at our artwork, man. It's, just, it's, it's a black card. There's just so much going on with this artwork. It's ridiculous. You can't even tell like what color it is, but it is a black card. There you go. <laughs> uh, permanent, this card gains heroic in all areas. Activate battle, choose up to one of your leader cards. It gains uh, 10k power for the duration of battle, then choose up to one of your opponents. Uh, battle cards with energy cost two or less and KO it. I just want to go over this card because you know I just haven't seen many, many pe people talk about this card and or uh, Haven't seen it in a while because compared to all the her other heroic cards. They're really cheap and even the vo um, The villains are really cheap also, but heroic strike is uh, about eight to nine dollars right now So if you think you have some uh, go ahead and just sell them and even though this might card even might go up because it has all the uh, heroes in the um, artwork, so yeah. Uh, Sun Goku Eye for an Eye. Uh, just want to go over this card because yo, shout out to Miguel again from El Topo Loco. He told me to just hey man, shout him out and put the card up there because he loves the artwork for his card. So you know, you gotta do it for him. But um, Eye for an Eye SPR is going for about five about five five bucks five to six bucks um obviously it's going to go higher to, um the more you go down but we're going for a five to six dollar card right now uh the sbr is going for a, it plays it uh, against uh i guess it goes into a mono 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 red launch deck so yeah <laughs> that's that's about it <laughs> um rosy blast manipulators are about 12 bucks right now this is the lowest man. I need to pick me. All right, I gotta pick me up some rosies, man. Twelve bucks for some rosies, man. This is basically greens a boonie, man. That's what that's why like that's why I call it. it. Has deflect auto if your um, leader is green or a heroine. When you play this card, uh, pitch two cards from your opponent's hand and gains triple strike for um, triple attack for the turn. Uh, 50k uh, green battle card. So yeah, uh, twelve bucks for this card, man. You can't beat it. Granted, like I said, green is not doing too, too well right now. Even though I'm a green player myself, I can actually uh, say that we're not, you know, we're not really doing that well. But 12, 12 bucks, man. If you can get it from a friend, like for eight dollars, man, yeah, pick these cards up. Um, Android sixteen step fast comebacks. Um, this card was hitting like twenty bucks, twenty to about uh, twenty bucks right now, but. It is eleven dollars, man. Uh, it's gone almost 
halfway down from 20. Um, it's just an arrival blue green. It has blocker revenge and yeah, man, almost all the battle evolution cards I've gone down, um, halfway gone down. But once this set, um, once this set, uh, just stop skin and print it. I think I think the set might just go right back up. Especially like all these SRs are really super unique for um, for what it is. And yeah, man, this card is, this card is really really good. And just for twelve uh, about ten ten to twelve dollars for this card, I'll say pick them up. Uh, Pan Courageous Youth going for about seven bucks, seven to eight bucks. Uh, yeah, man, this card is really good with uh, Goku's Lineage and Cell Surge. We'll take technically still playing Goku's Lineage, but yeah, uh, really good card. Seven dollars for the card, and yeah, dang, do I see a, a two dollar? Wait, wait, wait. Let's stop. Let's stop it. Let's stop it right here. Hey, hold on. Android seventeen and An Android eighteen siblings revived. It's a Five dollar card. This card was pre-ordered. I can pre-order 15. To, I think their card was pre-ordered by 20 bucks. But you know, blue green, not really seeing much too much play. The only ones you've seen is uh, Android 21 and or Android 16. And I, and I haven't seen an actual player attempt to play Android 16 other than um, George Machado that uh, top 16 with it in one of his uh, in one of his tournaments. But other than that, uh, yeah, man, this card is a five dollar card. Man, this is junk. Dipped, dipped in price. Uh, SS Three Son Goku, even further beyond. This is the most expensive SR in this set. So um, tw this card was hitting. I think the highest was about forty, maybe fifty bucks. But right now it is twenty four dollars. Right now the lowest um, for this card is twenty. Uh, 2324 half its price right now the car is really really good um, just able to swap from a two drop to the four just for one yellow energy you're able to add a card from your life to hand so it gains you another uh, card advantage so really good for what it is uh, I will say pick this pick the Goku lineage stuff up uh, because Goku Jr. is still a deck that um, comes out set 13. There are it is a promo leader, um, so but I don't know if you're gonna actually play all these cards in the deck because you're able to. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna play this because you're able to cheat out the two drop, and then just go into this for one one energy. So it could be like a um, like a mid like an early uh, aggro mid range deck for this card for that deck. So instead of playing the actual pan. But yeah, I like this card. Really, really good. Um, the final blow. I'll say, <clears throat> just want to go over this card. Just a random uh, draft box card. Um, I want to say I was looking at this card because of King Piccolo. Not Pic that King Piccolo, but um, King Vegeta. I was set thirteen. If you don't know what it does, it's an activate main battle. Um, if your leader card is red, you may choose one of your red battle cards and negate its uh, keyword skills. And gets neck 25k for the turn. And if you do, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and negs it 25k for the power to turn also. So what King Vegeta does also, uh, if you neg a battle card, you get to neck another card, um, another 10k. <clears throat> so since this is activate main or battle, say if your opponent's going in with a uh, battle card right now, it's swinging like for 50. And um, there's another card that says, yo, half that. Half that 50 to 25, then neck it again with um, with the King Vegeta's um, <clears throat> uh, 10k um, power. So yeah, I like the card. It's really cool. It's a little tech option. Um, now I'm going over Sin Shinron cards. So Oceanus uh, Shinron, um, really really good. <laughs> One of the best cards in the deck. It's going for about 12 bucks. I think Sin Sh All right. Agro Sin Shinron. It's really good. I've I've finally like witnessed it, and it's like an action, and the deck's really really good. Um, the surprising factor: the deck is kind of cheap, I believe. Um, if you like go like lowest ra rarity, this card is only about ten to eleven bucks. Going to uh, Nuova Shinron, about seven bucks, and then like you're playing these um, these cards right here, the. Ray Shinron, 
in the deck and these are just nine bucks but if you want to go to the parallel foils those are going about so you can get near mint parallel foils like for like three to four bucks right now so that's really good but the whole deck right now like you're you're swinging you're actually swinging with the deck like you're really like hitting hard against your opponent then you're granted you're playing cell sir i mean cell zeno in the deck um that's your one of your main win conditions but you're able to do that like turn two or three and yeah the, the deck is really good omega Shin shinrons this card is like one of the main best cards in the deck it's only going for like a dollar or two just a dollar or two and the deck is really 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 good and it um sprs are only about six bucks so if you think about playing the deck i'm thinking about playing the deck i pick well at least picking the cards up because since you just has so much support uh i forgot which set they came out of at first set 10 it came out of set 10 now we're going on to set uh or not well we're in set 12 right now it's just getting so much support so much support for the deck it's getting at least four to five cards each each set so the deck is really good uh for what it is uh broly crown retributions just want to go over this card um this card will see play up I, I believe it will see play in the new red bardock leader since you're able to play this card for free when you swing with your leader and or i mean it's just a one drop uh red uh saiyan card uh the original promotion cards i remember this card like when it first dropped it was about 30 bucks now it's gone down to six dollars since so not seeing any more play seen much play it's about six seven dollar card um but it's counter uh, alternate version uh alternate arts about two to three bucks right now but if you go over to the parallel foils there are about ten dollars right now so that is about it for today's market watch um if you like what you see go ahead and let me know what cards you want me to go over um in the comment section below um and you know like and subscribe you know what i'm saying peace i'll catch y'all later